Four. Can I get through my speech? I had to write it. Because otherwise I know I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to say. You ready for this? I'm Let's ready. do this. Are we ready for this? Yeah. How do I even begin to sum up, friends, this unbelievable chapter? This year happens to mark the 20th anniversary of my on-air TV broadcasting career. It was 2003 when it started, with 17 of those years spent right here at City TV. 17! Who gets to say that? All of this still feels so surreal because I was always riddled with self-doubt and my own worst critic my entire life. I was always getting in my own way. I would never even allow myself to dream all of this, to dream this big. Like many of you at home watching right now, I grew up watching City TV everywhere. I love seeing so many authentic personalities shine through the screen. I'm talking Mark Daly, may he rest in peace, what a gentle giant. Laura Di Battista, Monica Diol, Jojo Cinto, the list goes on and on. I grew up watching much music, shout out Rick Campanelles, Electric Circus, Speaker's Corner, City News, City Line, oh, whoa, whoa, and of course, this legacy show, BT. Never in a million years could I ever imagine a day where I would be a part of this amazing network and team. But my family and friends, many here today sure did. They were forever encouraging me and cheering me on. From my Papa Aldo, looking like a million as always, to my Mama Mary, a saint on the planet, my built-in BFFs, my amazing sisters, Antoinette and Linda, and my high school BFF, who's home with my goddaughter today, Melinda. They all believed in me even though I never believed in myself. Well, that day happened. I was hired by City TV in the summer of 2005 and given so many amazing opportunities within the span of a few months. By 2006, I was hosting the New Year's Eve Bash, the Much Music VJ Search, and named co-host of this legendary show. Shortly after, I was covering movie junkets, Grammy red carpets, and even a royal wedding. I was honored to host Canada's Got Talent, reported from TIFF Red Carpets, and Sid, who could forget that seven hour long Raptors Championship yeah, I was there. parade. Our bowels will never forget it. <laughs> Commercial free. I interviewed countless celebrities, three prime ministers, and even hugged a prince, now king. I wasn't supposed to do that, but I did. I was pinching myself every step of the way and continue to do that to this day right now in this moment. As many of you know, I've said it before and I'll say it again, I owe so much of the last 16 years to one Kevin Frankish. I would not be here if not for an eight page letter he wrote convincing me to take on this show. And just like my family and friends before him, he saw something in me that I never saw in myself. Kev said this was the job for me and that taking it would make my life change for the better. Kev, you were so right and I am forever grateful. All that being said, there is no way I would have been brave enough to take any of this on if not for one person, my Alex. He has been my rock and sounding board from day one. I couldn't have done any of this without his love and support. I love you more than words could say, babe. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting there. <laughs> Before I go, I need you all to know this. I have been overwhelmed over the last few days. Your messages, your personal stories, your photos, your videos, the cards, flowers, they filled my heart right up. I've heard from little ones as young as two to grandparents up to 92. I just hugged Sam's baby, like fresh out of the womb. Oh my gosh, not even two, two months. I haven't stopped crying happy tears and I am so grateful for each and every one of you. Here's what I know for certain some 20 years later. There is still plenty of good in this world, and that good is you. The reason why I love this show and woke up at Stoops O'Clock with a smile and a purpose is because I always look forward to sharing a laugh with you. If we could forget about our worries for even a moment, then my job is done. Laughter is medicine. I truly believe that. And boy, did we have us a ton of fun. Mother Teresa once said, let us always meet each other with a smile, for the smile is the beginning of love. My wish is that you do continue to smile and be the love and bright light that this world needs. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for sharing your life with mine and for putting up with my cheesy puns. I got through it. <laughs> Are you okay, Papa? Get some water. Okay. Love you, I love you guys. Love you. <laughs> By the way, she brought notes. I brought notes. <laughs> Who Didn't needs need notes? Them. The prompter worked. Didn't need them. Do we? How, how much? How much time uh, we got, Cass? I can't can I, believe can I, I got through. I got through. Guys, can, can we you get, come? Can we get Everybody, Mary, can we family? get a shot? Sorry, D. I want a shot of Mary. Okay. Uncle. Just one second. Are you okay, Baba? My, my poor pops needs you water. Can't? You're good. Mary. Okay. Can you grab, grab the microphone, please? How proud are you of her? We are all so extremely proud of her. She's a blessing to us all. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> and I'm still walking in the shot. And I'm still walking in the shot. Some things never change. <laughs> We're just honored to be here and to share in this wonderful day and we wish her the best always we love her dearly and she's made 
not just us proud, but everyone that knows us proud. And it's it's just heartwarming and just wonderful. Probably Thank you mama. so much. Did you think 16 years on the show? Did you think she'd be doing this 16 years? I guess probably not, but it just went it went so it went so well all those years, and we enjoyed every morning of it because we have watched every morning, and unless for whatever reason. But um, she just we've gotten so many phone calls, everyone wishing her well, and uh, we we really and truly love this family here too because they've treated us all so well. So Papa, thank you. what do you want yeah, to say, Papa? This is something. your pleasure. Okay. Okay, guys, on Monday, the Marion Aldo Show, live here on BT. <laughs> From 9 to 10, you're seeing it here now. Guys, you know how much I love you. You're all my world. You're all my heart. Alex at home and some other family members at home, and thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of our family, you at home, your extended family. Mom, could you say more BT right after this, since you're auditioning? More BT after this. <laughs> It was amazing. Mom, I'm so proud of you.